Hello, and thank you for joining us on Journalist Hangout on Sunday. I'm Ayodili Uzubaka. Today on the program, Nigeria caught power supply to the Nigeria Republic. This is military on the lot as coup plotters dig in. And later on the show, Delta Governor Test Drive, Nigeria made electric vehicles, consider them option for mass transportation as federal government wraps up plans for compressed natural gas-fired vehicles. I'll be hanging out with Babajide Koladi, Otitoji, and Dotun Oladi Moko. If you're ready, let the hangout start now. Thank you for staying with us. Let's begin with the Royal Rumble that is playing out in the Edo State Government House. The battle between Governor Godwin of Aseki and his deputy Philip Shaibu over who succeed him as governor in 2024 assumed a disturbing dimension when the deputy went to court to obtain an injunction against an alleged impeachment plot against him. Justice Ahmed Mohammed of the Federal High Court, Abuja, issued an interim injunction and ordered Governor Obaseki and others to halt their alleged plan to impeach Shaibu over alleged infractions. The court directed the parties in the suit to maintain status quo and pay balon. Hello. This, I, I will start this <laughs> discussion with Benino uh, Lagos. Um, that conversation in 20, uh, four years ago, I mean, is this four years ago, three years ago now, when that election was held and, you know, the way Godwin Obaseki and um, Philip Shoaibu, when he left the, the APC, actually went to the People's Democratic Party, and part of the condition that Godwin Obaseki gave them that time was that, look, you can't just be giving the ticket alone. He had, he had to, to make, make sure, sure that, that Philip Schreiber was actually chosen as his deputy in a new party. So the People's Democratic Party had to accommodate both of them, show the kind of relationship that they had or the, that we saw from the outside. Now, what is happening? Philip Schreiber is preempting whatever move that his boss might take by going to court first. And this is the first time I'll be hearing of this kind of thing, a situation that, look, let me rush to the courts to forestall my, um, the looming impeachment against me. Well, um, it's not the first time that the deputy governor will try to stop uh, an impeachment. Once it's obvious, they will do their best to stop it. Um, you saw what happened in your state back then. If not for the fact that the then deputy governor moved fast and uh, reminded our people of the fact that they didn't have the number to take him out, the plan had been perfected to impeach him okay. uh, at that time. Uh, my, his name doesn't even come to my mind now. <coughs> But, <coughs> yes, uh, he contested. Nigerian governors imagine that they are some form of deity, that they, they, are, they are like God. And I blame the Constitution, because the Constitution has not assigned specific rules for them to govern. What the Constitution in Section 186 says is there shall be each state, uh, for each state of the Federation, a deputy governor. And Section 193 says, the governor of a state may in his discretion as assign to the deputy governor or any commissioner of the government of the state responsibility for any business of government of the state, including the administration of any department of the uh, government. And he talks about the fact that the governor of the state shall hold meetings. Effectively putting him at the mercy. The, the constitution does not assign specific mm. rules. And that's why 
governors continue to treat their deputies like spear tire or what you can call um, a caddy, knowing golf. Mm. These people carry bags for golfers. They are called caddies. So it has become more like a golfer caddy relationship. A caddy is a glorified uh, houseboy or messenger. You send him wherever you want, you know. On that course, you can be on the the golf course for eight hours. All he does is following you up and down, helping you to pick your balls, helping you to uh, bring out the particular golf club that you want to use to play. You know? So, and it shouldn't be so. Governor Obaseki has clearly shown, shown um, to um, Philip Shaibu that he does not want him to succeed him. But what is the business of governors determining who succeeds them? Why should you go against your deputy simply because he showed an interest to contest? He has the right. He has the right to contest. And if you have, we've seen people, uh, Oshomole did not impeach his deputy. He allowed him to contest. Some of his own cabinet members even supported uh, his mm. deputy. Yes. I remember people like our friend, mm. uh, Kazim. Mm. It was the deputy that they supported. Mm. But he still didn't stop them from losing the, uh, the election. The governor will rally around the... the, the, the in spite of that, mm. they lost the primaries by a huge margin mm. because the governor decided to go for this same Obaseki. Well, it didn't take Obaseki so long to turn totally against Oshomole. You know, I mean, this is, this is very distasteful to become governor and then want to determine who even contests, not who wins who. Yes, yes. Because it has not even reached the point. It has to this level. It has not even reached the point. It doesn't want you to show interest. Oh. To show interest. I mean, it's not your slave. I don't know why governors behave like this. And it's not, this will not be the last time we'll talk about it. Another governor will still do something like this. Because they think that they are gods uh, uh, with a, a small letter G, or that they have 10 heads. And some of these people were inconsequential in, in people before they became governors. Inconsequential people, people that you, you do not even, you don't read about them at all. At all. Not only self regarding people. Why, why are they like this? Somebody wants to contest. What is the big deal? All you can do is. Leave him, let him contest. And make sure you put your weight you can't behind put the person you have yes. it. So what is wrong? Why are you scared? That's the word. Yes, that's the thing. It it's, things that maybe is uh, afraid of the yes. capacity of this young man. This is a man. <clears throat> look at all Oshomole did for this man. What did Oshomole get in return? In fact, for in that last election, the PDP did not campaign much. They were simply playing Oshomole's um, uh, videos mm -hmm. against mm -hmm. the person who contested against oh, so someone that thoroughly damaged. Yes, he had demarcated that person thoroughly. So, so, yeah. very easy. It, they were just playing. So what has changed? They were just playing. You know those uh, the, those PDP people. <laughs> you, must, you need to fear them. <laughs> APC appointed somebody to be the chair of the election in Edo. What did they do? They went, and in, uh, they ran about, a big ran about in the state, they posted a video of dollar collection. Mm -hmm. so this is the man they made, chairman, who posted <laughs> video of the dollar collection. Have we ever seen that <laughs> level of... <laughs> so, so, this is, you can't put anything beyond the man. I think that Kai is, Obaseki's own is, he, he, he behaves like a very cold politician. He should at least remember how they fought together, how this guy showed extreme loyalty. I've never met, I've seen um, Philip Shaibu once at an event. The, um, uh, this uh, event that in, uh, I think it was uh, Tribune newspapers. Okay. 60 years. Okay. Or Tribune. That was where I saw him. In fact, he was the one who greeted me. I didn't recognize him because I've never seen him personally. And no one will say, oh, Jide, uh, uh, 
uh, Philip Shaibu is Jide's friend, because we remember some of the things we said about them here. You know, things that I have no regret about saying. But look at him today. Look at what he's going through. In the hands of a man that he gave total loyalty yes. to. When he's traveling, man, how can you, why should you send a, a, a memo to your aides that they should never deal with the deputy governor? What's the meaning of that? That's petty. That's petty. And he claimed that he's using the police. <clears throat> or not allowing him to do the venue of a meeting. The deputy governor. Nobody was elected. He said, joint ticket. Oh. Mm. When the person just tried to do something like this, the courts. Atiku went to. Yes, Atiku went to court. And the court proved it. The court said no. Obanjo wanted to even completely chase away Atiku. And the court said no, it's a joint ticket. Is that same Obanjo today who wants people to believe that he's the greatest democrat alive? <laughs> but we are. I, I don't know, Dotu. When you want to look at it, the history, just this same governor wanted. Philip Shaibu to run for the senatorial district against Adam Soshomole in 2019, 2023. And his inability to do so, we understand that actually got the governor very annoyed. And Shaibu knows that he might not be able to withstand Oshomole in the north. No, he's even an attempt to ensure that. To stop contesting. That part of him stopping him, he would have left office. He would. Because you can't be holding onto yeah. this and yes. seeking this. He wanted it. Mm. He wanted to use it to ensure that. You know, the man will be out. But like um, BQ said, two issues um, or three stand out for me. Number one, we should look at our constitution. At the level of the presidency, we've seen some changes. Even beginning with Obasanjo, where the vice president was given the economy to manage. Unfortunately, whether that person understands the economy or not, it has become a norm now. But we need to look at it. In Lagos, at some point, the deputy governor was in charge of education. And that perhaps gave it some weight. And we can see what the differences are between when the commissioner was fully in charge and is fully in charge now, and what it was before when the deputy governor took charge. Number two is that Obasaki is failing to realize that this man has some political weight. Whether you like it or not, the man has what he has contributed to that ticket, even in winning the last election. Remember when they went to Oba Bini? It was tribal that the Oba reprimanded. <laughs> You know, so for, for me, he should have considered that. Consider that. Then three is one of the few deputy governors that we have seen actively involved in one sphere or the other. For me, I'm very. I was going to say that I'm very proud of his contribution to the reemergence of Bendem Shora. Yes, yes. The man trains with them. He doesn't just go there. He trains with them as a former footballer. He trains with them. And see where he has gotten them now. If you consider some of those things, you would have known that this is not a man to just throw away. You don't throw such people into petty politics. There is no way a Philip Schwab would have contested against an Adam Soshiomole and defeated him in that senatorial election. Even the governor himself, if he was from that senatorial, he can't try it. Because he has, it's a small area, it's not like the old states. It's a district, so there is no way the man would have defeated him. And if he's not careful, just like it has happened to some governors who tried to produce their success, so he's going to lose it. Because these are the things people are going to look at. And if eventually, close to the election, tribal decides to leave PDP and pitch camp with another a party that's taken away from whatever votes that the PDP will get. And I can assure you that taking away can be less than 25-40%. So I think the constitution itself, we must work on it. It's an unfolding event. Whether, whether we like it or not, if we continue this way, and the, because the way the constitution has described deputy governors, they are as good as commissioners. 
Yes. In some, in some states, including some who are neighboring states to Lagos, we've seen a situation where a deputy, a deputy governor, will, when the governor is absent, will have to go to the wife to obtain clearance and approval. No, someone will leave one hand over mm. to SSG. You know? When they have a governor. When they have a, when they have a deputy. You are traveling, you are handing over to SSG. To SSG. There are many states where it's happening. Many states. Some, they don't just complain. You see them. I know a governor from yeah. North Central, for example, who treats his uh, deputy as if he's a, he's a free trap on the floor. No regard. When he's leaving, he, he will, in fact, he will hear from some other people that he has traveled. I don't know what has come over these governors. I, I think it's simply because they control the money. And it's not all of them. No, it's because all of them are not like that. Yeah, but the money, some of them, the power of money, the power that they've given them is just too much. The constitution needs to assign the rules. This thing happened. It managed, I don't want to go to a some of those states, states that I know lot of that gov deputy governors are just there for nothing. They, are, they call them spare tire. tire. Don't In fact, perhaps spare tire is even <laughs> of greater value than some. It's even useful. Once in a while, what, what they've turned them to. So when you have a governor who is devious, who is wicked, who is cruel, you see them manifest that nature thoroughly on their deputies. Right. Most times in Nigeria, the more things change, the more 